Hello viewers. So in this video, we will be talking about quasi-experimental design. Actually, when we talk about the experimental research design, so far I have discussed upon pre-experimental design and true experimental design. It is very important to understand the various types of experimental design in depth because once the researcher wants to adopt any kind of research design in his or her study, that concept should be clear in the mind so that the, the further process should be easily uh, carried out. And uh, in recent times, if you see, the experimental research has really gained the momentum because with the help of the experimental research, we really come upon with certain observations and certain inferences which can be, uh, you can say, implemented in the later on stage and can be recommended in the research. So in experimental research design, we talk about quasi-experimental design and this experimental design is usually applicable in time series data and in panel data so that data part we are not going to cover in this video but what exactly is the quasi experimental design and what are all the points which are to be considered while applying this design what is the limitation of this design that will be covered in this video of 10 to 15 minutes so i hope after watching this video you will be able to understand the basic concept of quasi experimental research design so now let's start about the quasi-experimental design. As we can see in quasi-experimental design, the researcher can control when measurements are taken and on whom they are taken. I'll just give, write an example or the, uh, you can say the condition which we see in quasi and with this you will be able to understand. Basically, when we talk about the quasi-experimental design, I am here taking the example of time series design. And with this, I will explain you all the points related to quasi-experimental design. In my previous videos, I have explained about the types of experimental design, that is pre-experimental design and the true experimental design. It is on the uh, objective, it is on the discretion of the researcher to select the types of experimental design, also on the need of research also, which decides that what kind of experimental design you will take. But in case of a, a quasi-experimental design, the various observations are taken over a period of time, different period of time, as you can see, O1, O2, O3, O4, that is the observations. And then X, we always say, this represent the treatment and then its effect on subsequent time period. So now in this case, at the time interval, obviously this is being decided by the researcher itself. At various different intervals, you will be taking the records and this is the pre and post. So we are considering both the effects, pre and post, but in this the randomization is missing because the researcher will decide that which observations we are supposed to, uh, I'm supposed to take and on what basis. And also in this, uh, the researcher will not have any control group in this particular time series design case. So definitely we will be taking the one group into consideration. That is the experimental group over which we will be having the observations in a series form. And definitely we will be having the observations after treatment in a series form. But here, uh, the treatment over the treatment, the researcher has no control on scheduling of treatment that is being taken care by the conditions under which the experiment is being observed. These are the designs, the quasi experiments we are usually using in the case of social sciences, in the case of public health, in the case of education and policy analysis. Because in these areas, the different uh, time period effects or the different effects over a different time period is being observed, taking uh, into consideration the final decision. So in case of the social sciences, you say, in case of the public health, you say, we go for the quasi-experimental design. Now, basically, the difference in the natural and the quasi-experiment is that in quasi-experiment, the criteria for assignment is selected by the researcher. That means we usually take a cutoff point. And this cutoff point is also taken care by the researcher itself. 
वेर एज इन द नेचुरल एक्सपेरिमेंट द असाइनमेंट ऑकर्स नेचुरली विदाउट द रिसर्चर्स इंटरवेंशन सो वन कैन से दैट इफ यू आर गोइंग फॉर द क्वासी एक्सपेरिमेंटल डिजाइन मे बी द रेंडमाइजेशन पार्ट इज नॉट देयर सो द इंटरनेट वेलिडिटी इज एट द क्वेश्चन सो डेफिनेटली वाइल एक्सेप्ट गोइंग फॉर दिस क्वासी एक्सपेरिमेंटल डिजाइन द वेलिडिटी इज इन क्वेश्चन द इंटरनल वेलिडिटी इज इन क्वेश्चन हाउ एवर we go for it when the situation requires to go for the quasi experimental design now after this time series design the another design and in this quasi experimental is multiple time series design now in this case the multiple time series design it involves the addition of control group that is if you write this experimental group i hope my viewers are now much clear about the control group and the experimental group the group which is exposed to the novel condition is known as experimental group and the group which is exposed to the uh, which, is, which does not export, exposed exposed uh, to the novel conditions is known as control group so here we will have two conditions obviously in control group we don't give any treatment so we take the readings of both the groups before having the treatment again in the sequence o1 o2 o3 o4 and then after experiment so this talks about the involvement of the addition of control group which is not subject to any treatment and in this the control group is being added and here we are not giving any treatment to the control group so this is talking about the multiple time series design as i explained earlier in my video that when we go for the quasi experimental design we take a cut off uh, and we cannot go for the randomization so the internal validity is question in this and again i would like to repeat here that when i am going for the quasi experimental uh, design when my study requires it so whenever i go for a kind of a policy making or whenever i want to uh, take a decision related to a particular observations i cannot go for the one or two observations so i should have a series of observations so as so as to give the uh, generalization so as to give the more effective outcome of my experimental research so then i go for this quasi experimental design i hope with this my viewers are now clear with the three main types of experimental design that is the pre experimental design true experimental design and quasi experimental design observe your objectives now see your uh, hypothesis now and depending on that see the uh, the field in which you are working and according to your field according to your objective and according to your hypothesis select the most suitable experimental research design to carry for, uh, forward your research work thank you